called the day of his power and the day is like a thousand years before him a thousand years is like a day in Psalm 110 and verse 3 thy people shall be willing in the day there is a day set aside for the day of his power <laughs> and that day began from the very season he walked the shores of the earth from the very season he saw a man in John chapter 5 who was by the pool of Bethesda and the man said I have no man help me when the water is troubled <laughs> so when the water is troubled uh, the angel troubles the water for one man uh, whoever first gets in gets healed every other person gets wet only one person gets well others gets wet and jesus saw him and jesus said this time uh, you don't need to come to the water because the water has come to you uh, you don't need to go into the water <laughs> i am the water of life and i have come to you can i professor before i continue there are things you have been pursuing there are things you have been looking for mm -hmm. there are things you have lived slaved and labored for <laughs> and you've asked yourself when will they come by the power of the holy ghost after now they shall come to you amen i don't like your amen they shall come to you amen take your seat it's an end time program and to assess this program you only assess this program on the platform of service you assess this program on the platform <laughs> of service of service getting addicted do you know jehu gave the instruction for jezebel to be killed he gave the order that was his, his assignment to give another but it wasn't Jehu that actually killed Jezebel. It was seven eunuchs. Now then, <laughs> in scripture, a eunuch is a man or group of men that are assigned to take care of the queen. But to take care of the queen, they have to castrate them. So when they are castrated there is nothing for the king to worry about you not then take care of the queen there are certain things god cannot commit to you until he has dimensions so do you know what it means when you carry the messiah when you carry the messiah in you you carry a, the lord of glory you will first be denying the pleasure of intercourse his emergence was not by the copulation of a man and a woman you can enjoy the pleasure of intercourse and still carry the messiah must be denied I am a hadith. as we spend time mm, a woman who had married six husbands spent time with him went back to the city and brought souls the disciples left him went to the city and brought food pursuing materialism and seeing that as a yastic for your work with God is a clear cut dimension of departure you are affecting lives 
bringing souls is a clear cut definition of intimacy somebody says service there are so many of us our prayer card is so sharp our speaking in tongues is so accurate but when God decides to play our service zero zero our service zero the character of a man and a woman is not known at special times is known at regular issues your addiction to service is what exposes you to flourishing in dimensions of God the miracle never at the Cana of Galilee never happened when they took water into the water pot Fill six pots with water that was not when the miracle happened the miracle happened as they served as they were serving it became sweet so your sweetness is in your service there is a dimension of sweetness ah, yeah, 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 yeah. somebody shout service shout service then the church of god mission they do 15 services a week 5 30 a.m morning prayer evening a department must meet they do that monday to saturday and on sunday we have three service first service 9 a.m then no first service 5 30 prayer prayer service then second 9 a.m then 5 p.m papa it also has what they call school of wisdom so from um monday to saturday is 12. three on sunday 15. i don't miss one and if you know my thank you even women service i will sit somewhere women meeting you know women meeting they call them quiffy christian women fellowship international i will sit somewhere i will take pen and paper i must learn something that's why call me to speak on anything i have something to say i will sit somewhere i'm listening youths of course i'm fully involved teenagers i'm there I, I will just addicted there are times i will come to church stay at the gate the security men have not come i'll be waiting for them they will come they will open the gate. Yeah, now wow you don't come now now can i surprise you my house was one hour 45 minutes on foot i will trek one hour 45 so 5 30 morning prayer i leave home 3 30. i can't count how many times i've encountered robbers one time they took my wristwatch another time they took money from me about twice no that's enough for some people to stay back no i continued i'll pray from one to three from three i've left the house i'm going for money prayer those who are living close to church will not attend and that's the risk because those who stay close to church are always the late comers They are always very late because there is an assumption and familiarity from their window they peep waiting then they do opening prayer in never serious <laughs> and i did that regularly regularly i was there i was there the women knew me the men knew me the department knew me say you are here again i will stay somewhere i'm listening to what they are saying when they are praying i'm also praying somewhere when i think they're carrying my big bible and my coat i'm trekking god was watching god was watching god was watching god was watching god is a pain master God is a pain master for God is not unrighteous to forget your labor of love in that you have ministered unto the saints and do minister be sober everyone under the sound of my voice needs to get to that point when you ask yourself am I serving am I serving oh Lord oh Lord you are watching they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength you don't know that scripture 
you are waiting on the Lord, you do what waiters do. In the restaurant, what do waiters do? They serve. Serve. Put your head down and serve. Serve. Be called names. Serve. Be misunderstood. Serve. Be abused. Serve. But called stupid and foolish. Serve. When the Archbishop died, my biological father was worried about me. My father, who gave birth to me. I mean, the, the man that bombed me. <laughs> he was worried. I mean, when I saw him, he said, when he died, I was worried if you are fine. Because he knew how addicted I was. From my heart. So what many people were noticing, I wasn't noticing. Because my heart was following. I'm not for profit, not for gain, not profit who? For ambition for profit, how? Can you even see him? Can you even assess him? Am I communicating? You gave him your pants and that's right? When you met with the Archbishop, you carry your pants and that's then you gave him what did he do he just put his legs like this he said carry great men don't need what you have you are the one that need what they have and so be wise am i communicating here serve and this is where we have a problem impartations are easy when service has been found worthy I was in Nairobi, Kenya, and <clears throat> I was um, in a hotel, and I said, I want to rest. And someone said, ah, yes, so Bishop Oyedipo just left this room. I said, I don't understand. Which Oyedipo? The Oyedipo we know. I said, yes. He was on this bed. I said, everybody get out. Everybody leave. And I lay down, rolling from one end, batoko to bata. I tap, I draw, I draw. Sometime I was in what do you call this place? Manchester. The second time I was there also. I was in the hotel and they said Pastor Benny he just left that room. I can't I cancelled the money program. I told somebody else to handle it. I said this kind of impartation is not three hours prayer, it's seven, eight hours. Then somebody opened the meeting. I lay on that bed. I said, Father, this man has been in ministry for over 45 years. Still relevant. I, I received that consistency with the Holy Spirit. Not money. I'm not interested in money. I understand money. Money doesn't answer prayer. Money is transaction. Money is sacrifice. Money hates noise. That's why they don't play music in the bank. I'm not praying. Leave that one. Leave that. I understand how to be rich. It's very easy. To be rich is easy. Give like a crazy person. Money comes to you. Money has no respect for those that respect it. If money must respect you, yeah, yeah, rise it. Wealth, I can tell you, those who get all they can, can all they get, sit on the can. They get all they can and they can all they get and they sit on the can <laughs> money has to live for deliver those people who are waiting have you discovered that most prayer ministries are always ministries where poverty is celebrated no money doesn't like noise at all when you are counting money, somebody is talking, you'll be distracted. Money hates noise. <laughs> I'm not even know if you are counting money, you don't answer greeting. If you haven't if you have answered the greeting, it's the money. You are counting. Good money, sir. Uh, 25, 25. Good money, sir. 47, oh, my brother, 47. 
<laughs> and I lay down there. Hear me, child of God. Everyone that wants to assess this power, that want to be initiated in this program, start serving now. A day is like a thousand years, a thousand years is like a day. So that day of his power was initiated while he walked the shores of this earth. The Bible says, Luke chapter 5 verse 17. On a certain day, Jesus was preaching. And there were doctors of the law that have come out of every tribe of Galilee. And the power of the Lord was present to heal them. Number two. Number two. You need this power because power is a product of the spirit. Is a product of the spirit. Micah 3 verse 8. As for me, I'm full of the spirit and power to declare to Jacob his transaction, his transgression, and to Israel his sin. When Jesus was led by the spirit, Luke chapter 4, verse 1, he was led. That's what I was teaching the first day. The Holy Ghost within, the Holy Ghost upon. The power is a byproduct of the Holy Ghost. And the Bible says he was led. And in verse 14, after he obeyed that leading, in verse 14, he returned in the power. So power is a product of the holy ghost don't pursue power pursue the holy ghost as you get intermingled with the holy ghost power becomes your natural heritage am i talking to somebody here power becomes your natural heritage as you pursue fellowship with the holy ghost power intimacy with the holy ghost is intimacy with power intimacy with the holy ghost is intimacy with power intimacy with the holy ghost is intimacy with power the holy ghost is called the promise not a promise he is the promise of the father not a promise a child is a promise finance is a promise protection is a promise the holy ghost is the promise he is the promise that attracts other promises he is the promise i send the promise you want a child as a promise it's in the promise you want wealth as a promise it's in the promise the holy ghost is the promise when that holy ghost came down and the bible says when they began to speak in tongues they look at peter and the man asked peter men and brethren what is going on and peter i like what he said he said this is that this is that which was spoken by the prophet joel this is that there are many prophecies that people have heard about you and they are asking you when will the prophecies manifest by the time god changes your status and they ask you what is going on you will tell them this is that <laughs> and they say they say you've been serving god years and you had nothing to show for your service to god but after this meeting by reason of the change that is coming people will ask you where did you go uh, what have you done and you tell them this there are so many of us who are carrying overloaded overdue prophecies hands have been laid on you sacrifices have come from you words have been spoken over you there is a blanket of prophecy that has covered you and despite all of that there is a mountainous challenge mountainous affliction and you're asking yourself what is going on the battles of your life is almost gigantic and humongous and people are mocking your god when god shall be through with you by reason of the encounter coming tonight and people shall see what god will do and they will ask you what is going on and you shall look them in the face and you shall say this is that they ask you how did this man come who is he this is He's that done. you just got a car this is that Ow. hear me the kind listen to this please just just join me as i'm following him follow me the kind of wealth listen to me that i envisage sometimes i'm scared to tell mama the kind of wealth that i envisage in this life sometimes i'm scared to even mention it i've not seen a rich man in this world though. with what my mind contains i've not seen i've not seen if they still estimate your net worth as far as i'm concerned you are not rich 
How many of you know there are people that can't stand on a scale? Yes, yes. Uh, those are the ones that are fat. Yes. To me, those are the ones that are fat. No, if you can still stand on the scale, you, you don't have weight. But when you are you, you put one leg on the stage, we are crap. Don't bother. You are you don't bother, you are big. A man called Musa Mansa, not Solomon, is the wealthiest man that has lived. Not Solomon. He lived in Mali. They could not estimate his wealth. They could only estimate his wealth in a country. His investment in the U.S. His investment in the U.S. Google what I'm telling you. Don't take my word for it. His investment in the U.S. was over a trillion dollars. He was a Muslim. You know, Christian have that kind of no. We are too. We are. We are. We are so stingy. I said to myself, the, the house I live in now, I get an instruction from God, the leading from God. Say, give your house. I will gather my family, check into the next hotel, hand over the document. There's nothing that of value to me. I blessed somebody recently, and the person asked me, he said, sorry, are you okay? I said, what? <laughs> he said, are you alright? He said, I'm afraid. I said, don't be afraid. It's a lifestyle no regard for that paper come money you are the one valuing that thing come money it is nothing it's a piece of paper with dead men's picture those people in your currency are they alive <laughs> is the promise my 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 no David said my heart indicted a good matter for he has made my mouth the pen of a ready writer what what hey in job 32 i like i like job 32 i like is it from verse 8 or 18 when the last eliphaz was speaking there were three friends of job bring job 32 from verse 18 when eliphaz was speaking there were three friends of job he said but i am full of matter the spirit of the spirit within me constrained me i am full i have verse 19 i am full of matter he said my belly is as wine which at no vent ready to burst there's somebody hold me hold me hold me hold me Hey. Hey. Uh, my belly is as wine which had no vent it is ready tell somebody hold me hold me i want to burst hey. in this lifetime in this lifetime you will use money money will not abuse you you will use money Amen. for the propagation of the gospel to preach the word to save souls Amen. honey there is somebody called Messi. He's a player. They learn a Messi. What they pay him a week is the budget of many states in Nigeria a month. They have bought his leg. They bought the leg. What they pay him a week is the budget of many states. One leg for leg. Am I talking to somebody here? 
I'm not this is not materialism it's not greed it's mentality there are people who are suffering the church who are backsliding can I shock you in the north in the north I'm not gonna mention the state they now pay people they will come money to recruit people why do you think a young child can blow up himself family has been have been settled mother father generation have never seen hundred thousand and two allergies come and say bring your five children two million two million two the parents say go and die go and die people gather around a feed 22 mature men pursuing one round leather and are earning millions of dollars millions of pounds every week millions of pounds they wake up they sleep even if they are not feeling fine and don't play that week the money is and there are people who are serving god so passionately more than the players are kicking the ball i make this decree over your life anything called financial scarcity <laughs> anything called lack Ow. it dies from your life Amen. i say lack dies from your life Poverty dies from your life. Amen. Scarcity dies from your life. Amen. You will not be poor. Amen. Bishop Oyedipo, great man of God. Sometimes the Archbishop will give him money as his father, will support him. As a mentor one day the archbishop was seated and God's servant bishop everybody came to him and as usual the archbishop said open under the bed take money bishop open it and push the money inside he said don't give me money give me what brings money teach me what brings money keep it keep it today the man is running universities like secondary school running four universities four like secondary school federal government to run one they can't pay this one <laughs> asu and sua are striking <laughs> And one man is running for no stress I didn't talking the other day I didn't talking the other day he said they have 11 bank accounts that they don't touch they are not aware they have 11 bank accounts in billions reserved that they are, they are not touching that's not listen listen there are people that are not individuals they are government building you do you know what it means to build the university somebody asked for and not just to build to run it effortlessly not losing one sleep not not cracking the head for institutions running effortlessly not a strike one day am i talking to somebody not a strike one day the students are let somebody just left there with a five a five pointer the overall best and came out and was talking i watched the video and i shook my head i said which lecturer we protest when he's well paid with all the fridge benefits who, who, who don't like better thing now there, 
are there are i don't know why i'm, I'm going this way there are people between now and the next holy ghost conference now you will you will call me or you will send a message say papa can you come to swan so airport and dedicate my jets hey, man. can you can you come to swan so swan so airport and and dedicate dedicate my vessel my ship my my it will happen to you hey, man. it's not luxury it's not luxury it's necessity We were talking to somebody yesterday i said to the person i said sometimes i preach in two countries is 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 okay in the crowd i preach in two imagine preaching two countries in a week it's not luxury now you see when is your mentality determines your locality a poor man argues with anything wealth he doesn't see why you need it he see it as a waste it's like it's like a, a stingy man a broke man and he sees a woman and calls her a gold digger there's no gold digger anywhere there are only women that are not your size no, if it is you that enter trouble now you saw your size you left it you saw what looks like your pocket you didn't marry you went to what looks like central bank <laughs> for the gospel for the i want young men young ladies that when we are saying there's a crusade in china they say bring the total bill souls must be saved the greatest investment i have had in my life is investing in in souls i tell our pastors we are doing programs now i say do not do not streamline advert publicity spend money i send the money dr fidel is here i send it in millions i say disturb the whole town let them know something's happening don't be sympathetic those days of printing obituary poster let's do this for jesus world cup and ufa cup is going on and musicians are hired paid heavily let's change our mentality it takes power to get where deuteronomy 8 18 it takes power to get wealth open your hand one more time let me pray for you father between now and the end of this year by mercy and by grace let someone step after the order of abraham i decree heresy in genesis 13 verse 2 he said abraham was very rich in cattle and verse 3 said lot that went with him was equally very rich i decree by reason of this grace for wealth coming on you everyone connected to you shall experience it also Amen. Ay, ay, ay. i don't know why i cannot continue this is not in my notes i didn't write this i don't know why god is moving me to a dimension of wealth i don't know why god is moving me to a dimension of wealth i don't know why god is moving me to a dimension of wealth it's time for us to redefine i don't know why god is moving me there are there are people under the sound of my voice I, i'm speaking to you money will call your name Amen. for the gospel for the gospel <laughs> for the kingdom Amen. for the gospel for the kingdom Amen. receive wealth Amen. be on your feet be on your feet i don't know why be on your feet i have i, have, I don't know i'm I have three points i can't even touch it because i feel this anointing for wealth mm -hmm. 
I've been all over the world. When I enter nations, I look around, look around, I say, there's nothing here. I say that all the time. I say, there's nothing here. Eh? I say, there's nothing here. I say that all the time. So they say, Papa, can we just step out? I say, to do what? Let's just say, no, there's nothing here. America, there's nothing here. London, nothing here. Europe, nothing here. I'm here to see a place where there's something. Because the, the kind of dream inside me, the kind of expectation inside me, don't be myopic. If, are, if all you want here today is just let Papa pray so I can buy a car, this service is not for you. Let Papa just pay fat. This is my rent. This is my rent. This is my rent. This is not your service. This is not uh, one building. This is not your service. And uh, three, four houses. This is not your service. As you are following him and you are serving him, wealth lines up. Are you ready? Uh -huh. I honestly don't know why I'm doing this tonight. I don't know. I don't know. If you're a pastor here, please understand. There's no money in the church. There's only money in the call. It's no money. How much? How much? How much? Is that what you're going to build your life on? Raise your children from? Give your wife a happy life? From from Ajo? This Ajo? Five, five, nera, ten, ten, nera. Ajo. Eh? And the problem is that they give the money before service and line up to collect it after service. They give it as offering and collect it as transport. There is a river. And that's what God wants me to do today. There's an impartation of wealth. There's an impartation of wealth. He said the cattle on a thousand he belongs to me. If I were hungry, I will not tell you. The gold is mine. The silver so what where is this connotation of poverty this mentality that that scarcity brings chastity that poverty is purity he, he said the, he said the gold is mine the silver is mine so what is that that's an exhibition of wealth jesus was in this world and he had abundance and yet the Bible says all you saw Jesus enjoy is poverty. Jesus had to live poor. 2 Corinthians 8 verse 9. He had to live poor though he was rich. So that you can become wealthy. Right? So that lifestyle of Jesus was called was called what? Poverty. Yes. But even as a poor man he, has a, he had a treasurer. He had a treasurer that, and the treasurer was a thief despite all he stole the money didn't finish uh, a man turned poor had a treasurer so imagine God's estimation of riches if he could become poor even as uh, there are visions and dreams please can I beg you there are things you want to do. Can you please, after this meeting, go back and increase the capital? Can you increase the capital? Can you can you stop this small, small trying to manage? He said, open your mouth wide and I will feel it. Can you get to that point? I was talking to mama one day. I said, just imagine with the way I, I talk challenging institutions would you have to just imagine if it was one person that was giving me money by now they would have shut my mouth just 
Just imagine if it was one governor. One, I've stood on this altar several times. That no, the governor, the senator, the president that is financially empowering me has not been born. There's no one on this planet Earth that gives me money. No one that survives me. No, you can't. It's an expensive lifestyle. You can't afford it. You can't. No, you can't. I, don't, I don't even know. If you ask me how, I don't know. No, it's too expensive. One day I, I had to sit down and say, let me, what goes out as salary monthly? Home, everywhere. When I wrote it down, I screamed. What? And nobody's old. Nobody has ever been old. This means 17 years. We started paying staff from the first day. And nobody has been old for 17 years. Nothing like this much we can't afford. 17 years straight. Nobody old. In COVID, we are paying. It's time. There are, there are nations, there are pastors languishing in poverty in different cities. God wants to empower you to help them. Wants to empower you to help them. Not for yourself. True wealthy men don't use money for themselves. They don't spend money, they send money. It's time to empower. Empower people. Empower people. The wealth is around you. Are you ready? Are you ready? Honestly, I planned for something. I don't know why. I believe there is somebody here whose financial level is changing. The God of heaven <laughs> is releasing uncommon wealth in your direction. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Don't forget I said power is a product of the spirit. So we're going to pray for an unbridled, unfettered intimacy with the Holy Ghost. Unbridled, unfettered, unstoppable, unperturbed intimacy with the Holy Spirit. Father, let me mingle with the Holy Spirit. Introduce me to dimensions, depth, realms in the Holy Spirit. I need that 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 passion and consistent hunger. Spirit of God, I have been running this on my own. Carry me. Drive at him. Holy Ghost, drive me. Holy Ghost, drive me. Carry me. Carry me. Holy Ghost, 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 carry me. Drive me. Carry me. Drive me. Drive me. Thank you for watching Udeme Fruitful Channel.